wild animals that you may see in your backyard. Here in New England, you are possible to examine a wild animal or two anytime you go out into your curtilage. Some of them were always happy to see. Others, not so much. From squirrels and raccoons to some abundant, abundant larger creatures, the key to life management New England is knowing that animals are literally sensible to possess around, and how to discourage the ones that aren't. Rodents from squirrels and chipmunks to rats and mice, rodents are a number of the foremost common animals in New England backyards. Other than occasionally raiding your bird feeder, squirrels don't usually cause a nuisance. But rats and mice often notice their method into homes wherever they are fast to start out breeding. Control tip, reduce clutter to make your property less attractive to rodents, and seal entry points to your home. Raccoons. Raccoons are very common, and while they might look cute, they're anything but friendly. In addition to being some of the most frequent carriers of rabies, they seem to make it their mission in life to get into every trash can they can find. Control tip, keep outdoor trash cans tightly sealed. Use professional trapping to remove nuisance raccoons as humanly as possible. Deer inhabiting forested areas throughout the northeast, white-tailed deer unremarkably wander into backyards to graze. For some, they are a welcome guest, however if you are a gardener whose plants they notice notably tasty, they could be additional of a nuisance. Control tip, choose landscape plants that deer find unpalatable, and use deer-resistant fencing around gardens. A wide sort of scare devices and natural taste and odor-based repellents also are out there. Foxes Foxes are rarely seen in the daylight. For the most part, they are nocturnal hunters, and if you have foxes around, there's a good chance they're actually helping you by keeping rodent populations under control. Control tip, if foxes aren't causing a problem, let them be. But if you see one in the daytime acting strangely or erratically, contact a professional for removal, it may be rabid. Burrowing animals gophers, woodchucks, and moles live underground, usually digging burrows in out-of-the-way places well away from human activity. But they do sometimes damage lawns, causing a problem for homeowners trying to keep their yards tidy. Control tip, poisons are inhumane and barrier devices are often ineffective, professional trapping is usually the best way to get rid of burrowing animals. Snakes Some individuals simply suppose snakes are creepy, but they are almost always harmless. Rattlesnakes and copperheads exist only as far north as southern Massachusetts, where they are very rare, and protected by law, so you're not likely to encounter one. Other geographic area snake species, like garter snakes and rat snakes, mostly stay out of sight, quietly keeping rodent and insect populations in check. Control tip, leave them be unless snakes find their way into buildings, in which case professional wildlife control is an option. Bears Black bears usually stay away from humans, but they occasionally wander into populated areas in search of food. If you see bears in your curtilage, stay inside, they'll probably just leave on their own if they don't find anything to eat. Control tip, don't leave any food sources outside. Use bear-resistant trash cans, keep your barbecue grill clean, enclose your compost pile, and keep bird feeders well away from your house. Rabbits sure they are cute, but rabbits can cause damage too. They like to nibble away at the tender young leaves on shrubs, flowers, and vegetables. If you have ever tried to grow strawberries in your curtilage, then you know how tasty they are to rabbits. Control tip, trapping is an effective way to temporarily reduce rabbit numbers on your property, but they reproduce like, well, rabbits, so they'll probably be back. A three-foot-high fence manufactured from fine mesh can keep rabbits out of your garden, and a number of scare devices and repellents may be effective. Moose moose do not acquire backyards fairly often, but when they do they certainly make an impression. Short of building a 10-foot fence around your property, what are you able to do? Control tip, repellents ranging from bags of human hair and soap shavings to dryer softener sheets tied to your trees and shrubs have mixed effectiveness to keep moose from grazing. Sometimes, the sole viable life management possibility is skilled help. Find a professional pest management company in your area to take care of your pest needs.